Hello, third graders. Welcome to our vocabulary lesson for this week. Today, we are going to learn our five new vocabulary words for this week, week five of unit three. Next week, we will learn the rest of those words and then have our quiz. Before we get started today, make sure that you have drawn your vocabulary boxes in your notebook so that you're ready to just fill in your words, parts of speech, and definitions today. All right, let's go ahead and get started and learn. What are our new words this week? Our first word this week is drowsy. We have mend, unite, accurate, and massive. So let's learn these words. The first word we have is drowsy. D-R-O-W-S-Y, drowsy. Drowsy is an adjective describing a noun, adjective, and it means ready to fall asleep. Drowsy means ready to fall asleep. Right before bedtime, I start to feel drowsy. I'm ready to fall asleep. Sometimes if you do something really hard like play at the beach all day, you might get in the car and feel kind of drowsy on the way home. You're tired and ready to fall asleep. So our first word today, drowsy, is an adjective that means ready to fall asleep. Our second word for this week is the word mend, M-E-N-D, and that is a verb or an action. So mend is something we do. And mend means to repair something, to repair. I tore a hole in my pants and I had to mend it, meaning repair the hole or fix it. I mended the box by putting some glue on it. So the word mend is a verb that means to repair. Our next word for this week is the word unite, U-N-I-T-E, unite. It is also a verb, it is an action, and it means to come together. When we came for testing, we were united. We came together to test. When you meet up with your family, you unite or come together together. So our word again is unite. It is a verb and it means to come together. Our next word for this week is accurate. A-C-C-U-R-A-T-E. Accurate. It is an adjective. So again, describing a noun. And accurate means free from mistakes free from mistakes. The paper received 100% because it was accurate, meaning that there were no mistakes on the paper. When you give an answer that is accurate, it means it is free from mistakes or correct. So again, the word is accurate. It is an adjective that means free from mistakes. Our next word is massive, M-A-S-S-I-V-E. It is an adjective also. And adjective, massive means large, large. I had a massive blow up for my birthday party. So a large blow up or inflatable jumping thing. I have a massive amount of candy from Easter, a large amount. So the word is massive, it's an adjective, and it means large. All right, those are our five brand new words for this week. When I see you tomorrow, we will learn the sentences, synonyms, and antonyms.